good day viewers you're welcome to another episode of dress s with c3 techniques in this episode i'm going to show you how to take measurement for a short gown and what are the things that you need when you want to take measurement for a short gown you need your shoulder to shoulder measurement first the shoulder to shoulder measurement starts from here you can see to here that's your shoulder to shoulder then you take the measurement like this place your people like this the shoulder to shoulder measurement of this mannequin is 12 and a half 12 and a half inches you take another measurement you take your sleeve length i suppose to take the round sleeve and the sleeve length but i will take that one on on myself later because this is a this mannequin does not have arm so i'm going to take the bust i'm going to take the bust circumference the nipple to nipple circumference i'm going to take the, the, the bust how do you take the bust the bust circumference is like this can you see this is your bust the bust circumference The bust circumference is 33. Can you see? 33 inches. After that, you take your under bust. This is where your under bust is. Your, my under bust is 28. 28. After that, I will take my half length. This is your half length. My half length is 26 inches. My half length is 26 inches. After my half length, I'll, I'll go down this is where your waist is that means but you don't need waist in this measurement because it's a short gown short dress so what you need next is your hip hip measurement your hip is somewhere here it will be preferable if you do your hip if you want to get your hip measurement get your buttocks right this is where the hips it lies So can you see my hip measurement? So the hip of this mannequin is what is 39, 39 inches, 39 inches. So from that, I cannot go up 39 inches. I can go up and get my nipple to nipple measurement. You need this nipple to nipple measurement because of your dad. It's very essential if you want to make your princess that so your nipple to nipple your, your nipple first nipple is here the second one is here so my nipple to nipple measurement for this mannequin is six and a half six and a half inches six and a half inches for the ham hole all you need to do is to place your table here can you see the point i place my table from that shoulder to shoulder measurement stay at the shoulder hand like this then you come like this Can you see the ammo? What's the ammo measurement for this? This is um, 15, 15 inches. The ammo measurement for this is 15 inches. And the sleeve length, because this does not have a um, arm, I'm going to use my hand for the sleeve. Your round sleeve, your round sleeve comes like this. My round sleeve is 11 and a half inches. This is my round sleeve. We have taken all the circumferences. So all you want, you need to take now is the length. As you have taken all the circumferences, you need the length also. This is your shoulder line. Then you come here, place your table here. Place your table here, so that you'll be able to get, you can get your neck depth from here. The neck depth or the chest line. The upper chest is here. So let me say the upper chest of this mannequin is four and a half inches. The breast point, the breast point is eight and a half. This is the breast point, eight and a half inches. The under bust, immediately under the bust, is what we call the under bust. The under bust is when the bust is not shooting anymore. This mannequin does not really have breast. The under bust is eleven and a half. Let's say eleven. Your number, let's say 11. 11. D. 
the half length. Half length. Then you determine this half length. You look for where your where where um your belly button is. For this mannequin, the belly button is far. So I can't place my half length where the belly button is because the way this uh, mannequin is. So my half length will stay somewhere here. So let let your half length to so get a nice dress. You get let your half length be on 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Somewhere here. The half length 14 and a half. The waist. The waist length. The waist is somewhere here. Before the belly button here. The waist is 19 inches. Waist length. All I'm taking is length, length, not circumference. So note. The hip length. How do you determine your hip length? Where your hip falls. That's what you need to know. You look at the hip from the back. Then you get your hip length. My hip length is where the lip hip shoots out. Is here. 26 inches. My hip length is 26 inches. Then you go down to get your make sure when you have measured your people cross across the breast the breast point always make sure that your uh, table does not fall this side if it falls this side you get a wrong measurement always make sure your table cross across always make sure your table cross across the breast point then you go like this you go i want to get my dress length my gown length gown length if it's above the knee then it is 39 inches if it's uh, below the knee, that's 44 inches. How to measure your sleeve length? Your sleeve length starts from the shoulder and it goes down like that. Depending on what kind of length you want. If it is short, I have 5 inches, I have 8 inches, I have 11. It goes on and on and on like that. But note where you will start. You will start from your shoulder line. If you want to measure your, hands, uh, your sleeve length, you start from here. You know you measure shoulder to shoulder, measure me before. Start from where your shoulder starts, then you go down. It goes and on and on. So I think with this, you can measure a customer accurately and get a nice dress. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.